Okay, hello everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age 2 in whatever weird way I'm going to edit this all together. Um, I think I've got it where I want it. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> um, but I did want to show you guys something I picked up in the Deep Roads. Follow the sign. In the ancient days before Darkspawn, when dwarven cities wound through the roots of all the earth, House Valda signed single-handedly kept the entire empire supplied with lyrium. One day the mining family shut the doors of their tag. They spoke not to their noble patrons nor their king, and not even a visiting paragon. Days passed in silence before the doors to the Valda signed tag opened. Anxious partners discovered it empty. Not one soul remained. No bodies and no sign of what had happened. House Valda signed only left a staff of strange metal behind. It looked like lyrium and chilled one's heart like a remembered sorrow. The king sealed the staff inside the tag, and no dwarf ever ventured there again. If I picked that up on this last time I went through the deep rows, I picked up a couple things that I hadn't gotten before. I did go through on easy. I don't know, because I was just trying to get through quickly, and I don't know if that's why I picked these things up or what. Okay, side note, there is another reason I chose Anders, that if things go how I think they're going to go, possibly, in Dragon Age Inquisition, it has something to do with Dragon Age Inquisition and also Flemeth what Flemeth said at the beginning of Dragon Age 2 and with something that occurs in Inquisition with Hawk. And I don't want to say anything more than that because I don't know if that's how it would work out, but I kind of wanted to at least hint at it so that way you guys know <laughs> that uh, it seems to com be coming together very well in my head even if it may break my heart someday. We'll see. We'll see. But I, I want to look at this staff. What? As a shield? Good golly. My gosh. Oh, and I picked up Oathbreaker. A maul. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Give that to me. <laughs> Does that mean? Yeah, me. Okay. Um, Fenris. Oh, you need something much better. Yeah, have that one. And we'll, uh, move that to junk. But you, my friend. Huh. Yeah. You have it. Inter that was an interesting story for that. I... I'm quite interested. That's very cool. I, I can only assume, perhaps, that the entire house was, uh, like, taken, you know? Like, got taken by a demon and, or something, like, somehow they're in the staff or their spirits, like, infuse the staff or something. Oh, Wow. But I just got all the fallen stuff, so I don't know. Immunity is stun. Gimme. <laughs> um, let's move that to junk. Uh, that to junk. Hands of stone. That's pretty cool. Commissioned plate gloves. Gimme. I can't have that. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Also doesn't matter, which is really sad. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, which makes me sad. I think. Do I gotta. I think I, I can have that to wear around town if I want, I guess. Shoo, I can like. Oh my gosh. Oh, and that, yeah. But I. Uh, oh, I gotta go talk to Sebastian. He's in the Chantry, I guess. So we could do that. Um. I mean, I don't know if I should have maybe strung Fenris along and been like, ooh, and like done the whole teasing thing for the two, because that could have been fun and interesting, you know, but but I feel like this works better. The romance just kind of felt awkward. I think I actually might romance Fenris as a male hawk, because for some reason, and I don't know if it's just the internet made me think it so... Oh my gosh, that staff that Anders has! You can have one that's sort of like it in Inquisition. At least the top part. But for some reason, I like the idea of Fenris and Male Hawk. I don't know, it just seems to work better in my head, but we'd have to see. 
And people's points are a little... I didn't... I don't know if I did exact abilities or anything like that, so... Uh, let's bring Varric out. Yeah, who are we gonna... We're gonna oh, wait. Yeah, we're gonna go talk to... Sebastian. We'll level Varric up. I just wanna bring Varric out, because he's a cool dude. Let's give you 30 cunning, and now you can open up complex chests, I think. Pew! As a merchant prince. <laughs> Let's do upgrades on the bow. Let's see. Wait. Uh. Whoa. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Look at all my friends. Woohoo! <laughs> this is so fun. All right. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I may I'm only going to probably play for a little bit tonight, but I don't want to go back and replay a bunch of stuff, but if I have to, I will. I will. Uh yeah, sure. Okay. Um, oh, the Chantry, yes. Off to the Chantry. Off to the Chantry. We'll see, though. That Sebastian might throw a wrench in things. <laughs> Hello? Oh, there are still many refugees that need help. Perhaps if we put some help. flowers there. We all must and do some our part. There. Boiling in oil. Mm, too prosaic. Trapped in a cave with hungry bears right at the spring thaw. That lets him off too easy. Dipped in molten gold and left as a statue in the Viscount's... What? Ooh, oh. that's poetic. <laughs> what are you two talking about? <laughs> what to do to Bartram when I find him? Any suggestions? <laughs> that's awesome. I love that every now and then Hawk can uh, interact. He is using it. He's just using it in a way you disapprove of. He didn't wrong nobody. He's avenging his family. Oh, wait. Wrong way. Okay. We, I hope we read that. I hope I read that with you guys. I think I did. The sub yeah, we, I probably did. Okay, yeah. How do I get up there? I'm like, la di da di da di da Do you say anything different? How can people who serve the Maker allow their own Templars such abuses? I was wondering if the Chantry would change it. Yes, my friend. <laughs> See, that just makes me so happy. You know, I think the Chant of Light would be more popular if it had more battles in it. <laughs> just a hunch. <laughs> so they do say different things in different places. I needed to make sure I take them all to different places. And I'm just distracted and I'm never going to get over here to talk to Sebastian. Hello. Oh, hey, nice bow. Yo. I thought it would end here. That young lady, Hawk, she decimated Flint Company. No survivors. Yet, now that I know who sent them, it's harder to see their deaths as justice. Death is never justice. It is, actually. My... Hawk. We were just talking about you. <laughs> Carry on. I love to eavesdrop. <laughs> Hawk said sarcastically. <laughs> you know, I hate it when you do that. Hawk muttered it and reassigned to the door. <laughs> if uh, you two have a moment, I've learned who hired the <laughs> company. The Harrimans, a noble family of Kirkwall. <laughs> they were my parents' allies. It's hard to believe they betrayed us like this. I'm sorry, that was so hard. You know I hate it when you do that. I have to remember that there's like a three year span where I wasn't here, but you know, these everybody's been like, you know, doing things together and whatnot and all this. And <laughs> I'm bringing Varric out forever. Tell me about this family. Lord Harriman used to be a good man, but he became rather strange in his dotage. He died some years back. 
His daughter took over the family, Lady Johane Harriman. They say she's become quite reclusive of late. Hmm. Any idea why they turned on you? Money, power. It's hard to say. He's got a great accent. Lady Harriman was always jealous of my family for being royalty when hers were mere nobility. But I can't imagine that pushing her into outright murder. This is why the cycle of violence never gets broken. You jest, but that's the truth. Keeps me Give paid. Give this up, Sebastian. Dedicate yourself to the Chantry as you swore. What good's that gonna do? I must speak with Lady Harriman and find out what drove her to this madness. But I am the last of my line. I should not go alone and make myself nice a target. Nice eyebrows. Why is everyone looking at me? <laughs> I don't know why choir boy here didn't yell <laughs> Hawk to the rescue. That's clearly what he was going for. <laughs> if this allows Sebastian to make peace, it is worth doing. You've taken on lesser courses. Me? Please. Excuse I me, have no one lady. Else to turn to. I have something to tell you, you like, about one of your sisters. I can travel with you until you confront Lady Harriman. Otherwise, you can always find me here in the Chantry. Okay. Oh, uh, well, what now? I need to get Bethany back. Oh my gosh, there's too many people to choose from. Uh, we're bringing who we have. Yes, yes, because I want to talk to him. Let me know oh. when you're ready to talk to Lady You pr You pray for guidance. I will pray for guidance. This game makes I'm me really not like religion away. in general. But the giggling and the perfume and those revealing dresses. You see his hands? He's like, oh, those revealing dresses. <laughs> this game cracks me up. Is there going to be... I feel like I'm going to have to revisit areas and make sure there's nothing new to pick up. Because this is Act 2 now. Also, I did get advice that I need to go and... Um, Um, go through the high town and, and uh, low town and dark town at night because that is what's gonna get me. I'm gonna be able to fight those gangs and then get the quest to like defeat them permanently. And then there's also apparently an achievement for defeating all of them, which I don't think I'll get, but you get reward a reward too. So. But I think I've I've gotten all my pals. The thing is, is I do want to go check and I want to go check out check and see if the Dalish are okay. Um, where does this guy not have a? Shoot, maybe I won't check the Dalish right now. Because if I I want to I want to take Meryl with me, you know. I suppose. Should I go talk to the Kuno? I should probably go talk to the Kunari. Okay. We'll have to see how that goes. Cause I think that's part of the main plot. That might be the big, like how the expedition was the one for the last one. Somehow this is going to. Oh, the alienage is overcrowded. Someone should do something. Hello, Kunari. Maybe I should. No, no. Okay, I don't need to change for this. We should be good. Okay. Hopefully they'll stop doing that. But I what? I did read this. So it did seem worthwhile to meet with Sebastian in the first act, because now we have after the deep roads. Spent the past three years advancing his campaign to retake Starkhaven. He's been traveling extensively between Kirkwall and other free marches cities, attempting to recruit sufficient allies to build an army with Lady Securing the Hawk family, a place among Kirkwall's nobility. The two have crossed paths a few times, but an exiled prince like Sebastian has far better access than Lady to the Viscount and other heads of state. So far, though, few families have agreed to support Sebastian with actual troops, leaving him in the difficult position of trying to retake his city with no army. So... Interesting. I keep forgetting he's kind of, he's like an actually an exiled prince. And that, but like he's just asking for help like everybody else is, you know? But we will trust in the autosave here. 
Wait, let's see, is you guys gonna say anything? Like, over here? I don't know. Okay, no? Okay. You are Hawk. A patrol went missing along the oh, wounded coast. Oh, boy! You have fought Kunari before and triumphed. Arvarad, no less. So tell me, did you kill them? Hmm. If I did kill them, why would I tell you? You'd just attack me. I seek an answer to a question. What has happened to the missing Karatam? Vengeance is not relevant to this task. Uh... Yeah. I can't be your only suspect. There's Coterie, Carter, Templars. Take your pick. Take your pick! <laughs> you think the boss in this city could fell huh. a Karatam? Hardly. You are another matter. Interesting. If you are not responsible, I waste my time here. Okay, I I have to find them? I didn't think this city could smell any worse. Evidently, I was wrong. Okay. We should get going. What is that smell? Why does this place always smell? <laughs> Why? Uh, all right. I... But do they seem grouchier than usual? Oh, boy. Uh, they do look a little more uh, battle-ready, maybe. You will allow Basra to be our shock to place otherwise. Okie dokie, Smokey. Let's see what the outer shock wants. Sarah. Oh, my yes. title. Yes. Last we met, I did not know your name. Ah, did not care to. That's true. You have changed your fortune over the years. The Kunari have You've not. kept tabs on me. I offer a courtesy, Hawk. Someone has stolen what he thinks is the formula for Gatlock. Oh. You will want to hunt him. I think for many for many reasons I'm gonna try to stick to this more now. One of them is that the the comment Flemeth made about having a clever tongue and that she liked that is and I see her as being sort of similar I I don't know I'm not really modeling Hawk on Flemeth but I do greatly respect and admire Flemeth and I think a Hawk would too but not in an awe way she just maybe almost sees her as like an equal somebody who's similar to her in a way and so Sure doesn't think about Flemeth that much, but I I remember that. And I'm gonna see how much trouble and or not <laughs> that a clever tongue can get us in or out of. Excuse me, but this sounds like quite the feat. It was allowed. Oh the stolen formula was a decoy. Sarkamek, a poison gas, not explosives. Wow. A small amount is dangerous enough to your kind, but if made in quantity, perhaps by someone intending to sell it. That merchant, Javaris. Would he be cautious, or would he assume success and make enough to threaten a district? A courtesy hawk. You will want to hunt ah, him. Ah, ooh, Varric! Varric was a good one to bring! Oh, I hope, I hope I can still... Hang on. Yeah. You made your hate for this city clear three years ago. Why give me this warning? I don't call anyone in Kirkwall an ally or even a good rival. But you have shown competence. The day comes when the Kuhn will demand an accounting. Until then, I will show respect to the most promising among you. Ah, this is really interesting. I am super intrigued with where this is gonna go. So you just leave the decoy laying around? We did not make it easy. Three Kunari died defending it. Wow! Enough to impart a sense of worth. If the real formula were at risk, the Kuhn would demand that we protect it to the last of us. Wow! Their way of life is so different. 
So, how dangerous does this fake mixture become? It is not a threat to Kunari. For your kind, it is as dangerous as those who breathe it. No riddles, please. <laughs> the gas kills. But first, it turns allies against their oh. own in blind rage. So, the greater the skill of those sent against us, the more dangerous they become to their own people. Okay. And you thought this was a good idea? It is no longer our problem. Why? Why did you make this trap? Why did you let him steal it? It took Javaris long enough to come up with this. Are you sure it was him? Others have asked for the Gatlock, but only he chose to delude himself beyond no. Is three years so long to a hateful fool? I have no way of understanding such weakness. His crime seems obvious. Further evidence could be the deaths of many. I wouldn't wait. Any idea where we can find Javaris? I heard about a sell-off. Merchant territories and such. They don't do that unless someone left in a hurry. I'd have figured he'd rook some noble. He's sure not a burglar. Just tell me where he is. I haven't kept up on the squirt. Ask the coterie. Panahadon, Hawk. I do not hope you die. Oh, okay. Okay. The, I am. Wow. Hey, it's been like three years, hasn't it? How? What have you been doing? You waste time. The dwarf and his theft have caused a very real threat to your city. I think uh, yes, yes. Uh, I appreciate you bringing this to me. I have long thought this city would destroy itself. This will hasten the interval. Panahadon, Hawk. I do not hope you die. All right, there was a little bit of a screen glitch, but we seem to be doing okay. I do not hope you die. Like, not like, I hope you don't die. I hope you do not die. Like, I mean, yeah, it's the same thing, but it's like, or it's like, I do not hope you die. Not, yeah, it's like, like, other way around. Instead of, he usually, I guess, would hope for your death if you were not an equal of some sort. But he's like, nah. He's like, I do not hope you die. I do not wish for your death. So he sees me as competent. Ooh, more enigmas. A master mason made a comment that set my mind afire. She said that all the cities she's worked in, Kirkwall was the most difficult, and that the city is almost literally a maze. Uh, recollecting my first years in Kirkwall, I have to agree, getting lost was commonplace. The city was a sprawling mess. The mason showed me a plan of the city, and my heart skipped a beat. There were patterns in the intersections, back alleys, and boulevards. Some magistrates believed in the powers of symbols or shapes. In the oldest part of the city, one can make out the outlines of glyphs in the very streets. What manner of magic is this? Woohoo! That's cool. Oh, do you say anything in here? Yes, my friend. Why smell, this yes. Smell? Why does this place always smell? No one is that dedicated to some abstract ideal. Hmm. I wonder, Anders. I guess he wouldn't say he's dedicated to an abstract idea. He's dedicated to a very real idea of freedom and which is technically abstract. Do you know anything? I don't about know what you're talking about. Woo. What's the point of me going around here right now? What's in this area? The lost patrol. Interesting. I uh, nap. Right, no, I, what I want to do is, uh, go talk to the lady. Now, I want to talk to the lady whose son is, uh, doing a thing. Which means we can't bring Fenris. <laughs> we could bring, um, Meryl and... Or should we bring... Oh my gosh, I want to see what Isabella is gonna say to Sebastian. Thank you. Um, the 
alienage would be down here. Someone should do something about it. Why, why? So, boy, this usurper of yours is uh, 20 feet tall? Not even close, no. But he has claws for hands, right? Fingers. Perfectly normal ones. If a little fat, perhaps. He eats babies, though, and farts what the heck? fire. <laughs> You're not serious, I hope. <laughs> you can't even pretend to be interested. Yeah. Can you? Varric is probably not pleased with this guy. Where is the alienage at? I can't find the alienage. Am I in the docks? I'm in the docks, aren't I? I need to come here at night and see what the uh, unused sewer passages are for. I think I'm in the docks, I'm not in Low Town. Time to travel. I love this armor. Wasn't it? Keep walking. What? Keep walk. Oh, <laughs> we passed the Kunari compound. Yes, keep walking. <laughs> okay. Yes. Night terrors. Yeah, everybody's abilities is probably a little bit different. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, it's been very exciting. You haven't even. <laughs> it seems like she's involved every time something goes wrong in Kirkwall. I've never had so many opportunities to help. <gasps> All right. I thought I was getting tired of Moody. <laughs> I take it back. You're making my teeth. <laughs> you just really don't like him. I'm not exactly pleased as punch with him either, but you do not like him. But I wanted to hear what... Um... Oh, can we still go talk to Gamlin? Awkward! Awkward! <laughs> Run! Eh? Nothing? Okay. We're gonna go in then. I wanna see if Isabella and Sebastian will say anything. <laughs> she gonna be all over him. Like butter on pancakes. Come on. Tell us about Star. Eh, I'm sure we're all burning with curiosity about your Far Why are you land. antagonizing him? My faraway land. It's inland free market. He it's not you can't stop him. Huh. And here you I can't was stop hoping. him. It's a lot like here, but fewer dead people. Well, you don't <laughs> talk. <laughs> oh my gosh! Varric! He is just really making it very clear what he thinks. And this guy is so innocent. He's just like, yay, la di da. <laughs> Varric, you're ruining the moment. I, I really, I gotta, before we do anything else, I gotta see what Isabella's gonna talk to him about. Varric is amazing. He's freaking hilarious. Save the best runes for the best equipment. Wee. That's horrible advice. Because then you never use it. Oh, come on. You have got to say something. You have got to. You have... I will be so disappointed if you don't have anything to say. Maybe I have to do his thing first. Please. Is this getting you any closer to your ship? Huh? I just don't understand why you're working with Hawk. You don't seem to care about anything we do. What's keeping you here? Mostly the blooming rose. <laughs> I'm paid up to the end of the year. I'd hate <laughs> <to> <laughs> <be> <laughs> <good>. <laughs> brothel. What? Women can't go to brothels too? You're just not using your imagination. Oh, 
Nick. Now you are. You're cute when Yay. you're blushing. Please eat him alive. That would be so funny. I will. I would 110 percent, 200 percent vote for that tapping. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, I actually want to bring. Okay, who do I want? I want to bring. I want to bring Anders and Meryl. And I want to bring Isabella, but I also want to bring Varric, because Varric is funny. <laughs> so is Isabella. Doo -dee -doo -dee -doo. Uh, but I also want to, I do want to bring Sebastian, because I don't, I don't know him. And his armor is freaking the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and his eyes and his voice. But I don't know, I just, I think my hawk's got to go for Anders. I think their, their sense of humor is just like, it kind of meshes almost, and she, but she still kind of tries to like push him, at, or not push him in a bad way, but like push him like he's like I drown the world in blood for you, and she's like, oh well, how about jewels and roses first, you know? And like while he ta while he's like, you know, if that's the kind of thing you want, you shouldn't look here. I kind of just see her like kind of looking at him with like I don't know sympathy, like she's trying to like almost almost trying to cheer him up or something. Not that's not quite right either. She's like kind of almost looking at him like exasperatedly, but also with like sympathy, but just kind of trying to every now and then kind of snap him out of a funk. You know what I mean? Oh, we'll bring Isabella. Uh, yes, leave, leave now to Low Town, and we will go talk to the mother. Or should I bring Sebastian? Ah, oh, freaking. I have too many friends. I don't know what to do with them all. I can't believe the blight only lasted a year. Where are we going? Down? Does this way work? What? Smith. Were you here before? Ah! Are you the Smith? I'm a Smith. <laughs> Is Smith your name or your profession? Yep. <laughs> I'll be going now. <laughs> uh, oh, let's, um, let's see if he's got any... Buddy upgrades for Aveline. Okie dokie. How much? Oh, I got loads of money. Uh, chest guard of the scoundrel. Warden's coif. Oh boy. Huh. Rat nibbled gloves. No, thank you. Oh, uh, do I have? Oh, good. They made a little bit of space. Um. Uh, yeah, we'll just sell a couple of those. Sure, for now. For now, whatever. I don't care. We'll go through it later. This way? This way. Hey, right, look at that. Oh, there is supposed to be... There's a gift in the alienage. In a sack, I think. Uh, I don't have the list up, but I looked at it the other day that Subby gave me of where the gifts are at. I don't know what it is, but there is it, I think. It might... Oh, I don't know. I might know what it is <laughs> I think it's during the day. It might be at nighttime. Let's see. I'm pretty sure nobody wants a moth eaten scarf. Okay, it might be at nighttime. You could get another cut, you know. There's one in the low tone market with a litter of kittens ready to wean. You don't pay attention to Templars, Kunari, <laughs> or politics, but you notice kittens. Templars, Quinari, and politics don't meow and attack your feet when you're buying food. Are there any tabbies? Oh. I'd like a tabby. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to die. Oh, 
they're so adorable. Oh, did I, was this here before? among your own kind would be better in a way like you'd at least have a shared cultural knowledge you know you wouldn't just feel like you were floating and I don't know we might have to come here at night 